Hello everyone, and welcome back to Monsters of the Past. As always, I'm your host, Mr. G, and today we're talking about a very early whale. Ladies and gentlemen, Basilosaurus. Basilosaurus means royal lizard and is a member of the Basilosaur family. It was a carnivore that lived during the late Eocene in the United States and Africa. Basilosaurus could reach lengths of more than 60 feet long, which makes it quite possibly the biggest animal of its time. Not of all time, but for its time. Despite its name, Basilosaurus was not a reptile. Instead, it was a very primitive whale. The reason it has the saurus in its name is because when it was discovered, it was thought to have been a species of late surviving mosasaur. However, further study of its bones revealed that it had several traits only found in mammals, which made paleontologists realize that this creature was indeed a whale. As an early whale, Basilosaurus is lacking several features that modern whales have. For example, their nostrils have yet to have turned into blowholes, and it is thought that it was incapable of echolocation. Basilosaurus also had several features left over from when whales were land mammals, such as having elbow joints in its front flippers and having two vestigial feet. Because of how thick and heavy its flippers were, it is thought to have been incapable of deep water travel. As such, most scientists believe that Basilosaurus was a shallow water surface hunter. Some other notable extinct whales include Cetopharium, the tiny baleen whale that lived with Megalodon, Darudon, which was basically a fun-sized Basilosaurus, Leviathan, which gained famous because of the fact that it was the same size as Megalodon and was contemporaneous with it, and special mention goes to the extinct river dolphin known as the Banji, which was declared extinct in 2006. Now, there is one species of extinct whale I didn't mention, but I'm saving that for a later video. Now that we got that out of the way, let's look at the card. Okay, this is one of those cards whose problems aren't that obvious, but they're still here. First of all, it claims Basilosaurus was cannibalistic in its prey section. Now, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and assume that they might have been talking about Dorudon and may have mistaken them for Basilosaurus, but currently there is no evidence that Basilosaurus ate other Basilosaurus. And in fact, cannibalism in whales is generally not a known occurrence. Also on the back of the card, it makes an error not towards uh, Basilosaurus, but towards whale biology in general. It makes it seem like nostrils and blowholes are two completely different functions, but uh, blowholes are literally just highly developed nostrils. So uh, claiming that nostrils are a different thing from blowholes is kind of an error. And the last one, while it did get it right that it's a that it's a surface hunter that lived near the coast, it got the reason why wrong. As I said, the reason why is because it just what is because its skeleton just wasn't adapted to deep water travel. However, the card claims the reason why was because its lungs were too small for deep water travel. Overall, I give this card a seven out of ten. Now let's look at some extinct whales in pop culture. Basilosaurus appears in Walking with Monsters in an episode talking about life during the Eocene, and it returns in the spin-off Sea Monsters, which also includes Cetopharium in the segment talking about Megalodon, as well as Odobin... this thing. I'm not- I don't even want to try to pronounce its name. It's Odo something. Basilosaurus appears in Jurassic Park Builder, along with Leviathan, and this thing again. And finally, Basilosaurus appears as a tameable animal in the video game Ark Survival Evolved, where its gimmick is that it's immune to poison. That's all for this episode of Monsters of the Past. Join me next time when I talk about the Gravel Beast. Bye!